welcome to under 30 ceos where i will be bringing you stories of young people who have ventured into entrepreneurship my name is rebecca wanjiro you can always call me the village girl and i hope these stories will inspire you to chase your vision to chase your goal no matter your age today i am in kasarani at glamour bell this is a salon it's called glamour bell owned by a very amazing lady her name is mary she will introduce herself <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hi everyone. Hi. My name is Mary and CEO Glamour Bell. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She's an under 30 CEO. She say my name is Mary and I am an under 30 CEO. Oh, my name is Mary and I'm an under 30 CEO. Okay. So we will interact with Mary as she do, as she does my hair. Stay tuned. So Mary has a very interesting story. She became a manager of a circle at 23. And then one year later she quit to start her job and she just told me that she is also lecturing at a college she's doing she's lecturing at a hospitality college and she's only 25 she's turning 26 so and she has also done her masters so we are going to find out how she does all that So Mary, Munyana what Sayat Kakujua, how did you become a manager at 23? Very well, okay. So um first transit my first job, like official job in the design contract mm -hmm. when I was front office. Mm -hmm. So when I took a front office, mm -hmm. Um, I don't like I a field to Jafika because it's an entry level job on a degree, and most people when you're entry level, but what I'm maybe diploma. Mm -hmm. Then so say kakuwa hiyo job ilikuwa na mimi wakinao like nilikuwa na sina social life mm -hmm. so i knew ni na desire that stable job in at least in a time with family mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. and one of the ways that we grow from there was like to get a better position so nilikuwa na apply many jobs see si, mm -hmm. siko hata nimejua like hiyo ya management but uh, since we were already staff ndani, we were on advert here. Staff manager would get rich for email. We were to make our staff email. We were after staff manager to have a degree. We were on the qualifications. We were on the terms. We were on the terms. We were on the terms. We were Eh, yeah, I love salary. We were on the terms. We were better than what I was getting. <laughs> so even you're out of curiosity too, we can we can apply. We apply. I was in the first month before I was in the first month. 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 And you see, the minute you have a master's, at least you know the level of your job. I was in the first month. But I was in the first month. I was in the first month. The reason I was in the first month is that you are feeling like the marketplace is called, sorry to say it's unkind to graduate to a degree. But to a diploma, at least one of the entry level jobs. To a degree, I'm not hanging because I'm not going to underpay you. Then management pay is too far for you to do. So for me, I'm going to do masters, I'm going to manage. So I'm going to apply your job. That's how I landed the job. I'm going to interview, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yes. I love it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. How long? We we interview on a panel. Ah, I think me. Si we si sema na uko kwa tu. Me ata na pende interview. Ya panel ama ya watu. The nizi za online. Spend your aptitude test. Spend spend hizo bitu zinjuna ni kama swali. Do I feel like I have a chance ya kujitete? When you meet me in person, you able to tell my personality. If I'm telling you like I'm a good speaker, you can tell I'm a good speaker. If I'm saying I have excellent interpersonal skills from how ni linge yo room ni kau ya na nini, my confidence ya kujibu maswali. You can tell if I'm able to handle issues in your position. But when I know you interview, what you go na kate kama maswali online. Mm. Aja kumi, so one is a disqualified way to the most qualified person. Ah. So for me, I turn this interview a panel. Mm. Uh, this is my time to shine. Hey, hey, hey! Now we are going to have crazy interviews. Now it's going to be a panel. You know, you keep at what you want. You like, you know, that push to come. Ah, I think you'd rather find what we engage with on a personality different. Oh. No, we are going to interview a moja. We are going to have a conversation with a partner from the world. You interview in Nanga South. 
hivyo oh. but ukipata wasi wengi there is a way you can identify mm. like mtu at least anakuelewa ama ana, ana ako na temperament inakuelewa so there is a way you are able to jibu ikifika time yake you can shine wewe mwenye mm. anakuharas mm. wewe tunjibu <laughs> kwa hambo lipite juu haizi ukiza masali peke yake the whole time mm. yes ah yeah. alafu sasa ilikuwa tough like uh, at 23 if you are a manager mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure kuna watu like they are supposed to report to you. Mm-hmm. Was it tough to deal na wao ama like did, did they like wali ku kwa kiko cha sema poira? Raja wali ado maga poira kwa sababu yo young and they like I we una yade I see niambia anything. Hey, what you know? Moira no is it? Is it for me? Eh. Yeye anaweza kumbuka hii kind out. Was ulem plain ni pata alikuwa alikuwa ngaolda na mimi na alikuwa ngame wako that organization for some time mm-hmm. and i think alikuwa na hope atapewa hiyo job mm-hmm. so when you really land your job mm-hmm. ali feel ni kama nimechukua umelo eh eh sasa when ni mgeni anafaa aku orient job orient oriented sasa hapo ndio nilianza kuona we mtu anakubeba ni kama wewe ni mtoto mm. so atashinda kikwambia hiyo si necessary but you see mm. when do unaona the important things to you yeah. as a manager yeah. so that was the first challenge mm. i remember like it was really serious to appoint me nili msamo nili mwandikia email yeah. that was the first time nili yeah, as a manager yes let me ka copy wa kubwa but no what that does so remember ume umechoma huyu mse mko na yeye hapo so before you rebuild that but at least mm. you have to draw the line yeah. but I, i was very young and i think that was quite challenging kujua ku handle mtu haku anakuonea na wewe ni mjamu mimi sasa wengine walikuwa nao pia au au wakubwa you see you working with people of 15 ama miaka kaka hizo clients pia kuna wenye wanakuja na wanaona timu ndo manager so when that question comes ama anakuja anasema i want to see the manager unamwambia the manager na kwa zile za eh utanisaidia kweli there's any you as well you could there's a way mm. in a funny you feel like any just because i'm young mm. not even small because yeah. you can find a small person when you need a child like na miaka but now when you're young and you're small mm. i think pia ningekuwa na body kubwa ningekuwa na madhe maybe one year one year but i think kuna hiyo hizo times but with time mm. also remember i was not new to the organization yeah. they knew me from from top is most of them pia uh, walikuwa kwa leads yeah. so unapata with team work you know the good job you do mm. like i would go marketing that organization kwa ma branches kwa mm. staff mm. eh wanaona confidence uko nayo na vitu unawaambia zina make sense mm. i think by the time i was living i i, I had the confidence of me mm. and towards living i remember that i keep fanya system upgrade hiyo sapo mm. like una interest wa wote wana look up to like me yeah. natufikisha wapi wow. when do na wa train so mm. i think for me with tenilisha but you are, at first you have to as i am person 20 i'm a weather is yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. and you're still very young dealing with old people mm. i think your job is what will give you that upper hand watakuamini after wameona but before that you might have issues here and there mm. what you are trying to disrespect mm. just throw the line because you have to ah, mm. interesting and so ask me maria for that she has very interesting stories yeah <laughs> she's also a very talkative person <laughs> so we are not getting bored <laughs> So um why did you quit? Hey, so I um worked for one year from that to mm-hmm. that from 2019 October to 2020 October. Mm-hmm. And the reason I quit nearly realized ni kwa field ya finance because mm-hmm. now being a support manager mm-hmm. there was a lot to do with the finance mm-hmm. side. Mm-hmm. I think um even in Japan in specify ni kama customer service manager mm-hmm. Ningekuwa na anize time cause that that would be my mind having that hospitality mm-hmm. but now you see uh, una deal na accounts here so mm-hmm. una that challenge ya yeah. mm-hmm. uja soma accounting shule mm-hmm. so the job became a bit stressful mm-hmm. and then uh, also there were other internal factors present as because in favor in terms of my goals but mm-hmm. career cannot i might take so long here before ni catch up na what i want in life um and then nikakuwa na kai na and we know there is a way job is a quite stressful yeah una kujeka mm. hey when i realized my my health was at stake mm. ni resign hapo ndo nilianza kupanga i need to exit because mm. 
even if I survive, because I, I, I was doing well by the setting when I December by the time we got I don't think they were expecting me to resign at that point because yeah. nilikuwa na ngangana na mm-hmm. but now nilikuwa na not answers mm-hmm. in Japana, mm-hmm. see what yeah. and then now remember mm-hmm. the employees when you mlikuwa na au huko mm-hmm. wako na your contact so hata mm-hmm. wakingawa zao usha funga job file yeah, yeah. uko home simu inapigwa pesa yangu imetoka because you ni colleague former colleague wako hapo na namba yako personal mm-hmm. so it was so hard to draw them like una, unajaribu sana ku create your life balance and you for time uko job una stress ya job mm-hmm. but say na kwa haju mtu akipiga na mlikuwa na yeye huwezi mm-hmm. assume your point mm-hmm. juju anapiga as a member wa staff ama anapiga akiwa yeah. you former colleague yeah. then once you pick ana ku harass you this yeah. Yeah. Night, yeah. I, i was like no i think i need to move i need to grow mm-hmm. in whatever way i think it's about time i venture into business mm-hmm. Before ni the next move in my career. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so in the next move like opening now ni beauty parlor, Twitter beauty parlor. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. So now my next move move on, <coughs> it's covid time. Remember ni liquid October 2020. Yeah, tw- yeah. Now corona time hakuna job. Yeah. So nilikuwa so sure if I say na quit ni ngoje kwa apply job mm. ni natoa wapi hiyo kazi actually that was the worry hata wale watu walikuwa na check kuniongelesha mm. walikuwa wananiuliza ni unaacha kazi tena ya corona uende wapi <laughs> eh yeah. like eating pao kwa nono msichana hii ni makosa anafanya mm. and they tried to talk me out like vumilia wewe fanya fanya job mm. si kwa hiyo doing a good job na sia tuja kufuta kuna mtu amekwambia na kufuta mm. but i think for me the minute ni realize Hata in business mm. siwezi endelea na biashara yenyewe na feel inanivuta mm. because i believe in life you have to at some point uta start over hauwezi when you desire always continue na one thing till you maybe utakufa mm. lazima utakwanga na new beginning mm. so nili nili fika na point tu ni kafeel uh, business is the next thing but also a job i was looking for to work like mimi nilikuwa naona okay niza land here mm-hmm. another job soon mm-hmm. so nikipata job like in the next two months mm-hmm. ni sawa but nikikosa hizo two months what do i do i had mm-hmm. some savings yeah. and i didn't want to use the savings for daily living yeah. and end up without a source of income mm-hmm. but i knew with a business mm-hmm. it a generate like can make a 100000 itarudisha so yeye nitakuwa inarudi nita survive nayo until the next job comes around mm. and oh my unaona saje wa covid i said without another job <laughs> mwaka inagonga one year down the line but another job has not come but yeah. the fact that i set up a business yeah. i was able to always have something on the table yeah. ah. so that is how glamour came to me ah. and this is a um is this a talent is it something you did in school ama like I'm a passion why did you decide to start now salo like the, you decided that this is the business that I'm going to I want do. to do yeah? yeah okay first of all let me say from the time I said nita design mm-hmm. nikaanza ku save up cuz I in my mind ni kitanga ni kwa I can't just resign mm-hmm. so I I didn't know what business I'm saving up for yeah. I wasn't sure like nitaanza ni mm-hmm. but ni litiambia mm-hmm. nitaanza biashara mm-hmm. so nika save na endelea ku save sasa october ina hiyo september mwisho ina kanipia kutoka mm-hmm. ndio nilikumbuka mm-hmm. I used to do people's hair from when I was a kid Mm-hmm. I think I can trace back to no ni lengo shika manyasi hapo ndio kama bell ilianza ilianza kwa kushika kilo niko na 20 years because nimepata nyasi mafuta my friend but from there uh, I think primary school I used to try but my lines were not that neat high school tulikuwa na hizi competition tunaita wa miss kama nilisomea tumu tumu girls yeah. so tulikuwa ni miss tumu tumu mm. i remember nikitengeneza one of my classmates mm. na aka win atakuwa miss tumu tumu wow. na nilikuwa namshuka hata sikuwa najua kushuka hiyo kitu yeah. aliniambia nimshuke drop lines drop yeah. lines ni hizi zenye line unatumia braid ki drop so inabaki oh, kama wewe yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but ni ndani ni line yeah. so nilishuka tu kitu tu na ikatokea <laughs> something yeah, but i remember and then now from there yeah institution time mm. tulikuwa allowed to shoot up to nini to really mm. to rest up mm. uh, ama to dine so nini kwa na shuka my, my classmates were high school then mm. so now come to campus same thing umesota una do nini then mshita ko hana do nyele but anakwambia ki nitakubaia lunch twende twende hostel na mm. nipaitwe man fine twende hostel nishuke 
so I came from Uko campus ndo nikaanza kushuka shuka by the way iko iko asia but I think for me you see it's been a talent mm. since I was a young girl juni wengi walishuka nyasi but ilishia kwa hiyo eh by the way kesha tu but for me ni kitu imenifuata na penye nilipatia job get it hapo ndo nilishindwa kuendelea na story yangu because the job was tasking so Uh, but let's go back to after for there mm-hmm. i didn't get a job like in mm-hmm. Egypt so there was like a period of i think around 5 or 6 months then mm-hmm. i survived purely on mm-hmm. making people's hair mm-hmm. but i didn't have a salon so mm-hmm. i used to do home calls i had already bought a blow dry mm-hmm. na nilikuwa na kuvichana mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na shuka mabishi kwa ndugu zao maybe na charge kitu kama 500 mm-hmm. na kuja home call mm-hmm. but so jo home calls nika unatembea pia ju utaenda tu upewe lunch nita mm-hmm. pe story siku ishe <laughs> So, pande umemikio pe bande ni pe yo fe atu en fo una bakina ni atatu ba ti yo job le. At least so mi atatu ni pesa. Ni pesa yo te mi atatu iko sawa. So I I think that is where the talent in me come kwanza kwa kwa commercial. But now when I started the business now I had to do it no full time. Remember I had like think for 3 years bila kushuka I think. Eh na sasa nimefungwa salon so kama ni speed wow. bado haiko imerudi vizuri wow. then styles zime change ah, yeah. yeah, the last yeah. time na shuka okay isipokuwa vitu kama hizi box braids i was always good at them na no, unapata no, stitch lengths zime stitch zime but kama stitch lengths i think nimeweza kuzishuka poa yeah. like hiyo one year later yeah. all through yeah. nilikuwa na try bash na not see to even ina mm. but sasa hivi ni ni kwa sawa like sio mtu anaweza kuja stitch lengths ni kwa sawa muongezo same thing like sikuwa ni perfect muongezo so kuna vitu i would say nime perfect a lot of things yeah. yeah. ah, okay so na nona una umeanza pia kufanya you started doing makeup you started doing bridal yeah bridal makeup you started doing bridal hair how do you mm-hmm. do that like how do you learn that how to do that yeah and here let's go back to the talent because <laughs> i don't think it's possible in the agenda shule kwa mm-hmm. mtu tu kumoja ajaribu kitu mm-hmm. Unaweza sema hii ni kitu yenye mimi utrai bila ku struggle. Hata mm. new style ikitokea, hata nikistruggle nayo kidogo, haita take even more consistent for 1 to 3 days mm. nisha shika where the trick is. Ah. So like for bridal makeup, uh let me start with makeup itself. Mm. Mm. Bridal it becomes a miracle. Yeah. So there was this client I didn't even know her. Mm. Nitembe bado nilikuwa my first nini kufungua ni second. Mm. So nikiwa huko juu bado mm. there was a client who came walked in alikuwa ameona my Oh, a business that was opposite mm. wamefungwa and they are doing makeup yeah. so yeye alikuwa anakuja kutengenezewa hapo mm-hmm. so akapata wamefunga na alikuwa anaenda events mm. akaona opposite kuna kasali mm-hmm. akapata mbili mm-hmm. kaniambia eh hao hajafungwa nikamwambia bado kaniambia nataka ku blow dry wanyele mm. na ka makeup mm. So ni kama ndio try ni mm. alafu makeup ninaomba mimi sifanyangi makeup mm. sijaanza but mm. nitaanza mm. I remember ali niuliza kwa nini mfanye makeup juu juu ya ama nikamwambia si ati okay hiyo time ya covid <laughs> mtu akiwa idol unajaribu vitu mingi yeah. I used to record myself nikiimba na nilikuwa najipaka paka at least to my eyebrows I used to know how to do eyebrows <laughs> na foundation <laughs> na lipstick mm-hmm. but si juu is pet so mimi ni yeah. concealing the eyebrows and all mm-hmm. so nikamwambia si ati si juu kabisa I think naweza mm-hmm. but juu sijai pata serious clients wa makeup mm. they invest to buy products mm. akaniuliza hapo kuna product yote <coughs> nikamsho i think niko na foundation but hata iko ya original is the boy <laughs> yeah so nikamwambia niko na niko na foundation na niko na sijui lipstick moja na lip liner mm. any two vitu tu kamoja kamoja mm. akaniambia hiyo ndio tena hapo utanichaja au match <laughs> Mimi hata karibu ni namwambia kisa sasa ndakuchaji na pia ni na na kama nimuitisha kamia ni kule mandazi but funny thing ndomo tu ikaruka na sema 300 eh so for my first makeup job I ukalipa 300 eh which is a bit eh nikanot with you it a minute hii kitu nimemfanyia tu hivi na nimepata 300 nita invest so nikamwambia next time ukikama by the way kutanga ndio nilipaka hivi tokea akona the skill iko nikamwambia next time utakuta nime invest nimeshabai the proper yeah. products yeah. and that client ali ni push up to today she's my client yeah. and she comes here for makeup she has her products but when she's going somewhere yeah. she will come and then make her makeup so nikaanza hivyo na after nimfanyie something fun i think god's timing he knows when you need something because mm. after nimempaka na nimeanza kujenga santa invest the mm. first thing i got was a set of brushes ah zile zina nilianguka kwa zile nyingi after nimenunua hizo brushes mm. 
another client came. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that client is a big blessing to me in two ways. Mm -hmm. She's the same person who referred me for lecturing job mm -hmm. in intervention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that client came, I can mm -hmm. but then I find a makeup other than push up in a camera. Say no nyanzanga, but si jaba ivi tu, but ni kipo job ni ta invest ni ta bezo makeup on because makeup is expensive. Au taki kunumwa ilale, kunona bado ni kopo salon number zanyele. So I have a lot of expenses like kuna mafuta, ma ma treatment. You don't want to invest in something in your house ni kama ikona na ujo. Akanyambia kuna wedding ina kama and my auntie is the couple. She's looking for makeup artist, but she would want to see your work. Ni mami na shida let's just organize. Akanyambia auntie ata kwa na product zake si ata kuja umpake tu zake. Akiona uko sawa akipika job sawa we wende because you need different shades for bridal team. So ni mami ya sawa na tukanza kupanga mami auntie yake ama amlete bi moja nini. Then akanyambia since like auntie won't make it mimi ndo utanipaka. So yeye mwenyewe ako na pia product kidogo kidogo. Ni mami ya sawa kuja nazo. And I remember ha Ili fika like weeks to the wedding, but no hatu jamik akuje. Akaniambia hata so ika kuwa imebaki two weeks to the event ama three na bado haja pata tu. So na kumbuka info tu unona apa. I wish kita itani kama. Eh sister ngu ni ni kama mbia le mi get at her. She's ni pake yo full glam. Mi na mtu ni a photo ya apa. So ni kapa kasi sister ngu ni kapa ni kato ma photo. Ni kama mbia that's my work. In case I possess a good job, I need to take part of your job because I have the confidence if I get that one, it ani it ani pia ni basis ya zingine. But now that bride or ni ni hai kwa the bride manye ilu kwa ya maids, which is a good beginning. Kuko wanza ya kwanza na na bibiarusi. But then ilu not kwa uja iguza bibiarusi. It's a whole different kind of ni ni. Eh, kuna a lot. Sika maids unajuna apa kato veni ya apa kato client wa. But when it comes to a bride, one you know you are there. I'm very calm, and then you know, take a dress, but after almost the first dress, when I'm making something, then like it's it's a hold on a it's another level. So if the chairs is moving to me, I'm not catching the idea. The idea is when I put the chairs, actually, it's only products that do. But I could not. I'm quite impressed. I'm quite like wow. It can be good. So I'm not being mad. So Mimi is equal the main. You job be a bridal team. Only one a bridal team me a fifteen people. Na Mimi first time as easy power to pick. Ata Mimi is equal na tafuta wa kusaidia dem. Juo dem wingi ne. Ali kuwa like one am juo she's not fast. And these are fifteen people. So they were like not a team to wa kusaidia. Ah. No, the only thing is when the day came, she never showed up. Kai the makeup artist is. Why? I don't know. We were talking with her to agree. Do me ni wakum sa idea. Ni kamuliza tu naenda tu likuwa tu toke si wache kasa. Ika fika yote makani ambia we ndanga me ni tawa join sudi kesho ma payment takamna uba u something. So me ni ka ndanga. Let me tell you show for new. So I'm at five a.m. in the morning. So you are like relaxed, like oh, me la la uko. Okay, Miss Mataka could blend and Miss Lala uko just jawa. So I wanted to start early. I'm at five four. Haja kam ni kampol hakushika sini, akapigiwa na hakushika. Zaidi na umesha realize wait a minute, you are alone in this. When you first say that there are fifteen on the lineup, Miss kwa na job pata ni kampu tu choka ko. Cause ni mesa kupaka sa bede ni mepaka maybe sister ngo or client maybe two times and then there is a friend of mine away ki ampaka then to. Okay, that was also what I need to make a proposal to Bishti Angu. I was able to get Bishti Angu and I was able to get a lot of money. But I was able to get a lot of money. So, this time, I was able to get a lot of money. Now, there are 15 of them. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. So, I was able to get a lot of money. Like, I think I was just... But I was impressed. Like the minute me me realize I'm alone, when I start thinking, when I when I push like, ah, what do you want to get me? Yeah, it's a bit of malaise. So we reach and I'm here, and by the time we're done, we're gonna put it away. I was that relaxed, me keep a car, we're the couple. So I think that was my first bridal team job, and I think I tried. 
And from there, mm. I got a referral to another. So, your church or demon, Kwana, we be here. It was season, your wedding is your church. Hey, so, we can't have to after at one after another, make a party to the next team. Yeah, one in the refer, imagine your Kwana, you go ahead, be a Rusi from Nuele, Kucha. Wow, I went the day before, you find your Kucha, you find your Nuele, then you are packing makeup the next day from the bride to the team. So I, I I think for me that was the beginning of the breakdown. You know, from there I've dealt with it. That one. Uh, so um, as young people, mm -hmm. we are always hesitant to start a business because you are like, where do we get the customers? Yeah. Hey, like oh, you know, come on, isalo ni uko. Hey, all that money ya kuanza and then pini kose customer. So how did you get your clients? Okay. Um. First of all, ni mm kianza -hmm. I had a mentality ya my friends. Mm -hmm. And family maybe, but for family, sisana jume family members of family, but mm -hmm. I have like my sister here. Mm -hmm. But I was like looking up to my friends, what to do. now high school. Yeah, I think because I'm a social person, I didn't have a hard time because mm -hmm. I used to keep in touch with these people. Because it's very awkward if yeah. you haven't been talking to someone, yeah. then you're just there like, hey, but sorry, kuna mm -hmm. wenye ya Facebook. Na tu kwa yata na miana. The last time to liona na love data ni 2011. And you were like, hey, ni mefungwa salon. <laughs> I'm married to this woman now. But kuna wale wenye like like kwa niangu yote akampo they knew sakina abi. Um, they knew me na fumwa bees like mm -hmm. iyo squad ni mwa bia wote they were my first client. Mm -hmm. I think ata my first client ali kwa iyo squad joe. Mm -hmm. Then kuna watu tu this woman now high school pia ni liwaita. Mm -hmm. So I really tried to start with mm -hmm. those you know. And I think when you're starting a business, anyway, you have to start with those people you try. Yeah. However, mm -hmm. we take that as your end game. Because mm -hmm. with time, remember, these people here, their life is changing. Mm -hmm. That is when your friends will move. Not to Akihama and Mombasa, at the Aji Salon. Yeah. Higher. Another point is, um, sorry to say, but sometimes friends may disappoint. So you need to have a broader thinking. And yeah, how can you get new clients on board when you? Your relationship is purely mm. professional because yeah. even when it comes to charges, my best deal is more of a discount. Like mm. okay, us compare discount. Kuna vienye tu jo memtoa kwenye na indanga. So kuna hizo factors zenye zika fanya sasa ni nziku reason. Ata that's when I realized my location was wrong. So for you to get umuliza about customers, mm. one get a good location mm. that deliberately ama um, conveniently puts you out up of when your customers work up. Yeah. Go where mm -hmm. your customers are. Uh -huh. That is the first thing. Uh -huh. If your clientele ni wa working class, mm -hmm. where would would you find them sana sana? Where mm -hmm. kasalo na po penye wa ko most likely to put them. Kama ni tu stiana to shule, e kanji a shule. Yeah. Then yeah. once you've done that, mm -hmm. you're most likely to first learn the workings when you work up. Then from there, reach out to those people you know. From your phone book to now your location. Yeah. Then now taking advantage of the online space. Because mm -hmm. right, kila kitu say ni digital. Come on, Facebook pro, create a page. And I think that's one of the things we may struggle now. As much as I'm a social person, mm -hmm. I'm not a social media person, baby. Yeah. I, I, I struggle a lot with kuposti uh, <laughs> watu vitu. Mm -hmm. Like mini wale watu. Um, comfortably, ningeka bila WhatsApp status <laughs> for six months. <laughs> like in Isasa with the business, mm -hmm. you have to, your presence has to be seen. Yeah. So now I have to keep posting. Like, say, I can say I'm doing bad. At least, I just post, I think, for some days. But let's say, you see, Naka, you may pick up photos, that is, you may see, edit. But so say, you can see, you edit picture, mm -hmm. you post. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I'm going to like ni kazi nataka kufanya hii kazi lakini sasa the posting i feel like when i'm growing i want to grow ni high and to yeah, that yeah. a social media manager mwenye mimi nikishafanya kazi na nipige picha na mdushia yeye mm -hmm. take it from there na push kama ni hiyo ku nasikia kama kuna oh sina yes, kuna kitu kama kupromote yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. if you can do that vizuri kabisa i mm -hmm. think you because i have gotten clients mm -hmm. facebook mm -hmm. has very good clients yeah. And as kia tao, many entrepreneurs when you copy around me, you always want to say, "Nana, nana, see advertise Facebook." Yeah, but it's true. But it's true. But you can have more clients than Instagram. Yeah, Instagram people go to see styles with your copy. Yeah, but until I get to shop Facebook marketplace, I need to buy. Then I realize anytime you may post it to Facebook, it may not get clients. 
Uh, but I think for Instagram, you can pia to the promote page, mm. and all. I've mm. not really ventured into that space, Sana. Yeah. I'll get there because you also need the manpower. Mm. So you advertise a lot mm. of people. Yeah. Because I used to hire permanent staff and outsourcing. So yeah. I usually try and deal with uh, my current clients and the referral clients. Mm. But for the online space, even as you venture there, be ready. The mm. influx will come. Mm. And when it comes, mm. you need to have the muscle. Mm. But it's a good space, I think, so that's why you can also get mm. more customers. And no, the major one, mm. referrals. Referrals. If you mess up with a client, mm -hmm. in the word of mouth goes, <laughs> Mary and Ashuka be buyer, yeah. your business is going down. <laughs> so, in a very tough time to try to impress, of course, I always because I want to see now well. Yeah. Mm. The, maybe service. Kuna client too hata for yeah. Mm. Not because you've done so badly, because kuna mwenye uli tenge na zaipo na alikuwa so impressed. Yeah. But because sometimes, I think too from the word go client akiingia venye mta interrupt. Mm -hmm. Mtu akuja kuna mwenye anakuja na kisirani yake. Mm. And that person wezi mu impress. Ata yeah. kama kazi yako iko kwa yeah, aji. Sure. Mtu akishengia na frustration zake. <laughs> lazima tu hata kutolea pia wewe. Yeah. So, enjoy the service, but if you me mm -hmm. you see if you have an issue with the price, you should ask for the price mm -hmm. first. Yeah. But if you come in and tell me, unataka braids no ni ni how much? Mm. Alafu ni kulizi unataka size gani unaniambia anataka exactly ka hii photo. Mimi na try kukwambia okay so for this one you tunaongeza itakuwa na bigger price. Oh, umesikia ka nimetete bunge shuke. Then once I'm done <laughs> ndo unaniambia aje? He, na hiyo bei kuna. Na hata aki compare to the market price I think I'm very fair. So kuna kwa hizo drama nimetete. But then kuna kwa ngani hizo drama za sangi? Yeah. But I think uh, if if utapata two clients when you as long as your feedback una rate unaona most of it is good mm. and the negative one haiko based on you you yeah. can tell who your stubborn client and complain mm. ama who your there was a scenario yeah. it, it was not a one client mwenye wewe uliunda comfortably ukakuwa confident everything yeah. went well then apenda ka complain you yeah. yeah. but ukiona tu akilive they were not satisfied and th sometimes if i notice i even go to their inbox and be like baby if that hair doesn't impress you maybe ikibomo karaka you you come back for repair in the week kama when you yeah yeah like kama kucha unamwambia like kama una not maybe when you remember kucha usi mtu akukalisha tips mm. unamwambia by the you can consider to see get it next time wewe mm. wewe ukishindwa kuwa nazo yes. come tufanye kitu kingine nitaku discount ya kidogo mm. but uh, i i think to in business you have to be ready si kila siku kila mtu atacheka na wewe utakuwa mm. hizo siku <laughs> okay, so we have so many challenges and you have faced, so we are not going to ask that. Eh? Yeah. Now tell us, mm -hmm. um, you said that now you're lecturing. Oh, yes, yes, uh, you're lecturing what you did in campus. Now tell us what you did in campus. Oh, yes. yes. So in campus, I did a degree in hospitality management. So basically, I did a lot of hotel, I did a lot of <laughs> but I think by the time we look at phobia, we look at our my strengths. We can look at attachment. We look at our why and enjoy. Like front office, we look at enjoy bit of administrative. Uh -huh. Front office, cost controls, marketing. We keep all those departments. We enjoy. But we keep all those cooking. First of all, the the temperatures in the kitchen. They are too high. Now, Miss Jukwa, in a in a hot place. I think because we may grow up in Nyahururu. Okay. It's a very cold place. Nyahururu. Nyahururu massive. <laughs> so. Nili kwa na find kitchen ni kwa for me a very uncomfortable place juu na sweat. Mm -hmm. Hi, alafu pressure. Iyo kukimbizo kimbizo. Twenty orders juu ni 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 ni. Yeah. Si kwa na pata tena kwa enjoy the job. Ah. Hi, but ni any time ni kwa administration ni kwa sawa. So ni kwa not with my hospitality mm -hmm. to pre I need to diversify. Ni ache ku work kwa hotel speke. Mm -hmm. Ni kata after after chuo busi. And that's why I ended up working in oh, get food. Okay. Yeah. And now ni kwa get foods ni li pele kwa front office. Mm -hmm. From front office a kwa manager. Yeah. And so in in that line mm -hmm. ni kajipata ni me lose touch ni ile hospitality ya hotel. Cause kila mtu kima mbia uli some hospitality wa kuna wa hotel gani yama. Yeah. Yeah. So. The minute to me attend an hospitality, you know, let me to lecture you. Mm. The first time I ever entered a class, I think I was 16 years. After form four, I taught for eight months. 
After 4 4. So after 4 4. <laughs> what did you mean for 4 At 16? Yes, I was mean, 16 and 17. Uh -huh. So, your time, since you go to go, there was a way my private schools in the high school from four livers. Ah. Work with teachers. Mm -hmm. So, you go to I remember I enjoyed the phone. You go to phone? What subject? Hey, you go to phone? Maths. You go to primary school. Ah. Maths, Yari. Jesus, that is like Swahili, and I was even a class teacher. Wow! So at 16, 16, and I used to end in a 16 year old, and I was a class 8. Wow! And you know, class 8, you should go a quarter 15. Yeah! So I don't want to name my nickname, Kandosho. I think I'll go around here to Castiana Kando, but I can teach. Then you know, I'm going to run a Peter. So, um, after um, you have a circle job. Mm -hmm. Remember now I'm doing my masters also. Yeah. So nilikuwa like in future mm -hmm. you need to look for something sustainable ama something you can do long term. Yeah. And in a blend pia na because I biashara. Mm -hmm. So said tuseme ni pia niko na hizo limits za what can I do and you hate affect. Mm -hmm. You don't want to close your business. Mm -hmm. You can do something else and pia huko haiko si sure bet. Mm -hmm. And lecturing is something that came to my mind mm -hmm. because niko na inaweza balance part time lecturing inaweza mm -hmm. kimbia class mm -hmm. na nakuja na shukrani client moja mm -hmm. but now i need to hire mm -hmm. a woman in staff ndio yote ni me step out mm -hmm. kazi ya jasimama mm -hmm. so even ndio nilipata the idea ya lecturing mm -hmm. but now when i ask to my there people i look up to mm -hmm. like there's a lecturer or my former peer too mm -hmm. Nilimuliza, aliniambia maliza master so that you can lecture. So, nika feel, nika disappointed kudo uju nilikuwa lena. Nitapata hiyo opportunity lini, master ziteisha lini, na with corona a lot of things happen. School fees, ujo hiyo, and all that. But then na ule client minya nini refer my first brain on job to him. And then nika muliza, bide, what do you do for a living? Haka niambia, she is a lecturer in a college. Nikamuza, how did you get that job? For me, I've tried and it's very hard. Ndo wakanyambia si ngumu, if you don't aim for the universities, start small. Try colleges, because at least that all, you might get part-time in the colleges. Then you can grow. Kwanza we do nafanya masters. Utajipata tu hata hizo universities. So, ukienda kuambia, I've been lecturing this and this college. At least kuna that up at all. So, she referred me. Wakanyambia, by the way, just kujoko kwetu, kumbia na director mm. si kama atakupea chance mm. na mimi kwenda nilipeleka papers nikamwambia it's okay when the chance ikitokea mm. nitakuita mm. so nikarudi kwa salon yangu that was last year kitu october mm -hmm. nikakaa nikakaa no mm -hmm. then hiyo time job ilikuwa busy but the job ili peak vibaya sana like october no then deck i was like having three clients per day back to back kama two on a bad day i have two so i was very busy kwa salon so hata kama natafuta hiyo lecturing i'm mm -hmm. like what ikitokea mm -hmm. itabidi ni higher like immediately yeah hey what's up with jan why did you edit hey kumeka oka team lower food prices so so unakuja unaka kuna days na kuna job and one of those days i remember nili come to apa kwa salon nikaangalia sai job ni na chini kidogo na unaelewa Si watu watu wanashuka kwa wengine, aki watu hawashuki nywele. Si tunaona huko nje yake na pros watu wamekaa tu. So unanoti si eti kwa kwa wamepotea. They just don't have the money. They are preferring to do the cheapest thing. Yeah. And one of those days we kind of follow up. And I came back in busy with that Zilia. I need to chase that goal ya lecture. So I had applied already that we can drop papers like tao polika nne. Sijui really wa peace, sijui peace. So nime drop colleges ka 10. Nikajambi ile nje ya last year. Let me go back and see. And funny thing when I went, we went like this week to follow up with Angela Mia to check on her. Kesha ona kanambia tutakwambia kuna intake ina come ya March. Wacha tutakuita around that time kama job itafanya. I don't know what changed between that day and a week later because ata haiku ime fika match Kazi tu, I think wali pata tu Sijui inflat sama wakaniambia Wakaniambia niende, nianze kulecha Na una unit zenye wanikuwa nataka za kulecha Riwa ni zenye, awakuwa na lecha Na nazi lecha that time Kama hospitality law, communication skills And those are the things I enjoy teaching So business, business unit. So nika jipata ni mianza sasa kumix lecturing na sana. Like how do you balance like management ya hii and then you also and the lecturing because right now umesema that's what you're doing. So sorry. Okay, so um, first of all the fact that I was already here for a whole year bila kufanya anything else, I think nililande na nisiza sana. 
salon. <coughs> I know how it works. Yeah. I know what to expect from the customers. Yeah. The amount they pay for services. So even when I'm away, if I have 12 so can you for class, then a client comes, I know what is being paid. And um, so it becomes easy to manage when you're away. And when you're here, no, there's a tricky part because sometimes you're here. Mm -hmm. Kuna temu na not, masai ina gonga na kidogo, ama client anataka kuja, temu ya class. Na hataki mtu mwingine. So now you pay in a bidi wa on the side, they adjust. But I think, as it, what I said before, like clients have to accept that when a business grows, mm -hmm. it means being served by other professionals, mm -hmm. not just you. Yeah. And I think that's the major thing that I'm trying to drive mm -hmm. my clients to understand mm -hmm. that from now henceforth, I want the salon to grow and give them even better services. And for that to happen, mm -hmm. I can't be the only one doing the job. Yeah. I'll have to involve others. And also I have my own life as Miri mm -hmm. and dreams to chase and I cannot say like my whole life will revolve around being here full time. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> how I balance is here kukwana, some helpers, like I outsource to I have two staff when you was a sana sana. Mm -hmm. I deal with all no actually three. Okay, there's another one here, three of them. Mm -hmm. And then now the flexibility because I'm not doing full time lecture, I'm doing part time yeah. and it's just one and a half <coughs> half hour uh, lesson mm -hmm. so i'm going to rush for one and a half hours and come back to the salon it's also conveniently located near the salon mm -hmm. college right now yeah. and even tell me he couldn't depart in a lectures and as he come back like you don't go like within a ruby but she ended up you come out okay you up 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 then you can manage to rush like Jokunanga traffic most of the time, yeah. um, like times in Gino, as I manage to come here, when I'm on phones and I'm going to go to the but remember, mm. salon is a survival client. Mm. So, come on, if I have five clients a day, I'm a more, mm. then it means there has to be someone doing that job. And so, I would want to hire a permanent staff very soon. Mm. So, I think if you can tell me to go to your post, you're going to be with her, right? So, say, when do you manage? So, Mary, at 26. Mm -hmm. Umefanya masters, wadho ujamaliza, yeah. but still umefanya like the, the hardest part, ama the, the biggest the bigger part. Bigger part yeah, the bigger part, your research. Mm -hmm. research. Mm -hmm. You have your own business. Mm -hmm. Na pia sahi, you also doing lecture. Like mm -hmm. at 26, how do you feel? <laughs> well, how do I feel? Yeah. First of all, I think nilikuwa ni so ambitious and even now I'm so ambitious. Mm -hmm that whatever I achieve mm -hmm. doesn't surprise me exactly because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's something you already thought about. So joke now what I think we do not have any like what I do not care say me say ma na ona niki niki kwa na more lecturing opportunities yeah video ni kwa na kagari yeah so when that time comes and someone will be like now you are twenty seven and driving mm -hmm. it's something that I think I already have in my heart as a prayer. Mm -hmm. So at 26 having those things, mm -hmm. I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. But then I'm feeling at least this is the man who one of those frustrated people out here when you want to say my life force really because for me it's a big blessing. Yeah. But again it has nothing to do with that in my effort. It, it's all about God's favor. Mm -hmm. And also I think you have to zeal, you could push mm -hmm. every now and then usiwe give up on yourself. Yeah. Na si ati ni throughout na kuanga hivyo. Kuna mm. times wenyewe una life ina ku knockdown una feel stuck. Yeah. But I don't believe in staying kwa hiyo kuwa stuck for a long time. Yeah. Like if I realize something is not working I will feel stuck uh, stuck for maybe a month or two but from there I'll tell myself I need to get a solution because mm. God had to pair brains ndio pia tufikirie ange. Mm. Unaweza kwa Yesu unaambia God ni saidie ni pair closure ni pair closure. Sometimes closure iko hapo mbele yako there are opportunities it's just that you don't want to go that way because yeah. if when I quit my job ninge focus on just looking for another job yeah. ni same like oh, niliwaambia sisi tangu by the way wao mwingine I'll never put up a salon because mm. tulienda salon planning nikiwa na nata mm. then wao dem alimboja ashukwe kumaliza kabomolesha huyo mama. <laughs> I think you people nilifanya ni jambo what? <laughs> yeah. So I think it might not be what you want, yeah. but make use of it. Yeah. Me, I'm that kind of a person who will do something. Even if I don't like love doing it, yeah. if it's the only chance, I'll do it. Like, but it's legal, I'm not going to jail, I'm not sinning, yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah. Uh, so 
siwezi sema kila kitu na ni nimepata ni ni kwa sababu ni nilikuwa nimeipangia ama it's just the hard work it is about to do what and i'm so grateful and again i feel encouraged like it's proof that you can achieve mm. yeah because i don't mean mary told me something very interesting she said kina kirubi Hmm? walikuwa wachie nani legacy eh? like hata wao oh, they started somewhere right like mm-hmm. they, t- they took all the risk na nini so well, that's what you're doing because mm-hmm. unataka kuwa that that girl who's known mm-hmm. okay not known for taking risks but you also but you require part of it like you're that girl mwenye lazima you push you push you push until, mm-hmm. until I, I think i just want to exhaust mi usema hata kama by the time on my dad that nitakuwa nishakuwa career zote nilifanya kama daktari ya kamili nikakuwa sanitarist na katatu nikakuwa kama god aniaka all those gifts in me there's a reason that you need the ability to do all those things and the point is i don't have to do just one thing to be happy in life if i have the ability to do something an opportunity can come i'm going to do it then in the course of doing all these things you will discover ni nini uko strong yet ama hata usiko discover one thing and you understand out maybe after all your life was meant to balance like have three things you do with your life and that's it mm-hmm. so for me i'll just grab every opportunity kikuja so shangae next day maybe kutaikuwa na interview nyingine yeah but yet now there was something else to come up i'm no longer just doing lecturing now i'm doing lecturing and this and then dance and canceling yeah <laughs> yeah i can do all those things uh-huh. So um so what will you advise a young person when yeah maybe ana ana shindwa what do i do like, at, at this point like what do i do uh, maybe i don't have money kuanza biashara sipati kazi like yeah okay um if you've noticed most what what was the motivation of speakers i think they exaggerate when they say that mm. nilianza hoteli na harufu ya mandazi peke <laughs> yake <laughs> My thing was they are not the same in the start of time. You may not have the capital to put up a business cuz nilikuwa na job kushuka after shule but I wasn't able to put up a salon nil graduate on 17. So after 2018 singe anza business ju singe pata capital exposure pia na kuja with time. So kama uko huko nje and you you don't know where to start there is always something you can do. There is always a start. Like for me remember I told you guys I used to do home calls. Like eight times when I got a job get roads but I knew how to do it. So I used to do it for 500. So start where you are. If you can market a skill to uyo mtu mwenye mkutana na yeye next mwambie by the I can do this. Yeah. And the thing about business it has to sort a need ya mtu ndio ukiadvertise ya mtu kitu isikae luxury. Yeah. Like nyewe was trying to shoot on you in your need. I mean hakuna mtu atakana nyelesha all their life. So yeah. you need to show them niza kushuka braids na kuikoa. If you can start from there, pole pole utaenda ukipatanga, you'll meet people who yeah. connect you to the destiny pole pole to mm-hmm. because like from there I had to get a job first. The job was going to bring the money mm-hmm. and through the savings I was going to now put up a business and now the business again the skill had to come in but all this added up much later. Mm-hmm. If kama ni uh, ningekuwa long ningekuwa so negative that sina do ya kwanza biz mm-hmm. then ningekuwa tu bado stuck pale kwa Yeah I, I, I can't start as a long term start. Uh, so you grab the opportunity ama kama ningekuwa so focused on starting a salon after shule that I didn't look for a job ningeshitu kuteta venye kuna pesa ya biashara but the fact that I accepted ile yenye ilikuja ilikuwa a front office job and I was not even an employee but the fact that I took that chance hapo ndio ya manager ilinipatia so and there is always a way get when you go we say shako lile Why should you have to be out there doing something for other opportunities to come in? Okay, and speaking of savings, eh, mm-hmm. what would you advise some of since we were fanya kazi kwa Sako, we were manager wa Sako yeah. and yeah. actually we have these issues peer za watu wa yale. We get money kama tumeona ngoo suku tunaenda tunanunua. Ah yeah. uh, if whatever we want we, we want like that luxury ya kushi vizuri kuonekana that we have money mm-hmm. so advise someone who does not save or someone who, who would wish to save and doesn't know what, what to do but i'm a sako like mm-hmm. where, 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 like did you yeah uh, it benefit that you knew so much about savings for sako uh, okay um first of all then my my savings in you need to me a kufunga biashara azikwa sendiri za sako kwa sababu sema hivyo zilikuwa kando like from your salary you know you, you want to do something uh. so kuna pesa unajinyima uh. <clears throat> so what i used to do i used to have a limit mm. 
like I used to tell myself no matter what mm -hmm. my card ya account ya ATM yeah. kuna pesa siguzi ikishafika hapo yeah. nijue kwenye zingine zitatoka okay. lakini siguzi hizi yeah. because I want your pesa ikuje kunisaidia mm -hmm. that is one then about savings kuna so many ways of saving at least I uh, with the digital era yeah. there are so many things you can do to save mm -hmm. from money markets kuna sacos mm -hmm. kuna chama kuna vitu mingi watu wakaa kusema however kila kitu iko na advantage zake yeah. na disadvantage zake so you need to educate yourself exactly. financially na uzuri aki sasa inasema watu wana hizo mm -hmm. information yote iko online mm -hmm. sasa hii watu wako na smartphones hata yeah. ule mtu wa ghetto akiwaliza yeah, watu wako na eh hey, kila mtu wako na access juu kama ni tiktok video hakuna mtu yuko updated na kitu ina trend yeah. on juu instagram tiktok so yeah. if you tell me you know nothing about savings mm -hmm. it's just that you've never <laughs> had interest ya kwenda ku check <laughs> because truth be said mm. there's so many things but before you venture into any investment and you might as well na una save because yeah. when you save your investment like for example you're supposed to get dividends mm. every year <clears throat> you need to look for the factors that your sacco zenye zinaonyesha iko stable mm. make sure you save with a stable sacco otherwise utapoteza pesa the same na vitu kama money market uh, if you go investing in a company yenye iko stable in short to come on save na outside an outside meaning you have to look for the stability yeah. but if you want to save on your own mm. it's all about discipline mm. uh, you cannot afford mm. to be the person when you and I'm going every fashion yenye mm. inatokea yeah. na si atu shafika hapo peni uko na hiyo disposable <laughs> income yeah. yeah. so it's you to tell yourself also yeah. always ishi dunia na unapanga tu ngomze <laughs> i think so true ni kupanga tu like mm. Instead of ungoje ukwe random mbaya unanuanga mangua every now and then you can decide every four months the third month ndio utakuwa na buy one ama something so hiyo month uta spend hizo zingine you're not going to touch a certain amount of money just put it in your account and now that's how you're going to accumulate your savings it's it's discipline it's it's not easy kuna siku unataka kufanya kitu but kuna kapesa kwani ufai kuguza but you have to and then hata in business if you're not if you don't have financial discipline kama wewe una struggle na hiyo impulse bank the extent of being broke business is going to be hard for you because You see like for a salon mm -hmm. you charge people every day like your service mm -hmm. and you pay your kadao mm -hmm. now it's for you to accumulate that money ndo end man you live a bit kama wewe ni mtu wa kununua bidii ukitoka hapa nadhau ukifika home ni 300 kesho tena kwa kosha nadhau ukifika home ni 150 by the end of the month what will you pay to rent you because you have rent your business kwenye unaka food how do you manage so how i also ensure do that nili jianza nili saidika enye the sako job help because it made me realize you have to separate a business from the owner and what that means is Mimi as the owner of Lama Bell mm. when I pay to like this mm. I'm going to pay myself as a staff because kama ni mtu ningepay job si ningemlipa yeah. na kuna kwa na hiyo commission percent mm. so nikikushuka niki from whatever amount ni kulipisha I take my normally the rates for kushuka ni 50% mm. so I take my 50% the salon has it mm. 50 so yeah. that 50 I cannot touch it mm. I keep it in the account I record somewhere mm. and then now end month that 50 is what will pay the salon's rent mm. buy the products okay. so Mimi man i i will not have to cough money as nearly to pay for the salon mm -hmm. now my other 50% mm -hmm. now is what i'm earning as a staff mm -hmm. so if i was working for a salon called drama bell as an employee yeah. see don alipo ndo inafai nilipia wapi eh, rent ya home straight yeah ukule mm -hmm. fare yako nyele yako mm -hmm. so my 50% what for me is a staff the 50% of glamour bill is to grow it so the one to renovate comes from that 50 i will not go back to my pocket because i already ah. did that as a owner in ah. the beginning wow. so i think that has really helped us ah. yeah wow that is so amazing thank you so much mary for you. educating us with the way to so many things mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so i'm sure there's someone when you go home and you maybe you know shanga like ah me but don't into we it's it's happen to in the future <laughs> so you've heard what mary said she has insisted on saving so make sure you save and thank you so much for watching and the battery see you see you next time bye bye, bye. <laughs>